What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Off for Outlaws and today we're going to be kind of taking a look at how far the game has come in the time that it's been out and uh, I can't remember exactly how long that's been. <laughs> I've literally just downloaded my old, uh, my very first video on Off for Outlaws and I already forgot when that was. But I'm going to get into, into this video with uh, some original footage from like the first not even couple of days of the update being out and then uh, we'll get into how how it looks now this game audio is coming through the other turn my down a little bit where I can still oh shit where I can still hear it um, this is not the only control option uh, there's the wheel you know it's the steering wheel that you turn like and then there's the X uh, well it's not well it's the what would be called the accelerometer or the tilt steering as well uh, I do kind of like the tilt steering I tried it out but it's as far as tilt steering it's not my cup of tea because half the time I'm not entirely my phone's not level anyways oops I, I do hit trees a lot um, it's not worry about that <laughs> been uh, three years since the game came out. It looked so much different than it does now. And uh, yeah, you can really tell that uh, even my footage has gotten better because that was recording from my really old laptop. Uh, you know, and you can tell like the mud on the trucks and everything. It's gotten so much more detailed. And uh, of course we have mud chunks. We got boats now. We've got plenty of more field find vehicles. I mean, back when this game first came out, we had only a few vehicles. Like, I believe it went to, like, the Bowler. And that was it. That was the original vehicles. I don't think the Hummer was even originally in it. Or maybe the Bowler was part of an update, and it ended at, like, the Jeep here. So that's, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vehicles. We had, like, eight cars. Uh, a quad you know we didn't have dirt bikes we didn't have boats you know we didn't have trailers we didn't have a tow truck I mean we've gotten so much more stuff in the game there's there's tons and there's so much more customization like the way the game used to like feel to like the physics have improved so much they're just so amazing now compared to how they used to be and we just have so many vehicles. We, we had a crawler. Uh, I think two crawlers. I think these two were the original two crawlers. And that was it. And then an update added in the other two. And then this one came with a later update, I believe. Uh, you know, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, we never had boats until this newest update here on version 5.0. Three years. And we're on the fifth version of the game. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. We used to have only like one quad or two quads. I think the drag quad came originally. Uh, not 100% sure on that one. Or maybe we had a few quads. I can't. I really don't remember. It's been that long. Three years is a long time. But I mean over the years we've got all of these new vehicles in the game. It's just amazing the way everything has changed. But, you know, I think that's enough uh, blither blathering about about the differences. And, <laughs> you know, we, we definitely got to go get some footage of the physics for you guys to compare. And we're, of course, going to do it in the woodlands. Uh, we won't be with the old Dodge, but, you know, we've, we've come a long way in off-road outlaws. They give you bonus gold for completing it. one thing um, for for all of my fans that whoa, have come to know me playing gigabit oh what the hell oh come on did I really get stuck son of a bitch see this is this is what I was talking about as far as you know there's there's a few bugs see I just got stuck right here and there's no way to flip it over 
because there there is a way to flip your vehicle over, but it pops up on the screen, you know, at certain times. Um, my advice, uh, well, some I, I need to send a message to the go guys. Yeah, you can definitely tell just how much the game has changed. Turn the volume up. Let you guys hear it. Even the engine sounds are different. The physics. We've got dualies now. You know, I mean, there's so much. So much stuff that has just changed. I mean, just how easily it is to just drive over a rock now compared to way back when. Granted, the, the boat trailer is not going for it. But it's definitely insane, man. Insane of the level of difference between then and now, guys. Absolutely amazing. I, I love how much has changed and how much the game has been improved over the years. It's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Don't mind my driving right now. It, it probably hasn't really increased because I'm still here driving with a keyboard and mouse. Uh, actually, it might, ha might have increased technically because that video, original video, that was actually not even recorded on Bluestacks. That was recorded on my HTC Desire 626. Yeah, that's that's old. I was using Moby Zen to record back then. Now I use Blue Stacks and OBS. Even I've changed over the course of three years, man. It's been a long time. Can't wait to see what the next three years bring for off road outlaws, honestly. It's pretty crazy. If three years has brought us this, the next three years, provided they don't decide to go to like a whole new game. You know, in the next three years, the, you know, maybe we'll come out with another video of, you know, then and now, uh, in another three years or so. Maybe by then we'll have, like, a PC version of Alpha Oh, <laughs> uh, that'd be sick. Something with, like, extreme graphics and everything. That'd be nuts. Doubt it, though. They like their mobile games, and I like them, too. You guys do, too. Everybody's got a phone. I repair my vehicle. All right. I'm going to show you guys the tuning aspects of this. As far as actual tuning goes, you know, you got different brakes, styles, choose from. There's different axle types for this, this solid axle pro. There's much more I'll show you guys. Uh, change the travel, the stiffness, shock size, shocks. The, actual style of them <coughs> okay and uh, uh I should should have stayed on there um if you notice how it you know asks you if you want to buy you know upgrade your solid axles uh that's because as far as travel goes you you get more tunability uh, as you upgrade. Change your size of your wheels. As you can see, you also have to do that for to fully have them customizable. Um, this is something I really do find cool as fuck, and he, he showed, you know, this on his Facebook page. Is this VR test rig for testing your suspension capabilities. I really love it. It's very much crazy, the difference in the game. I mean, look at that. Just running through there. Spitting up some mud. Calling a trailer. Like, if you'd have told me three years ago when this game came out that we I would be able to tow a boat through a mud pit in a Ford Ranger Raptor I'd have told you you were insane mostly because the Ranger Raptor wasn't a thing back then and I would not have ever thought they actually would have brought out boats but hey 
they, they're actually pretty good in the game. I would drive one for this video, but it's already dragged on for far too long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This little uh, glimpse into the past of Off-Road Outlaws, if you guys haven't been around that long. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. See you guys later.